Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video presenting a BPMN process. The process we're going to study today is a purchase request follow-up process with a particular focus on the first stages of validation. As soon as a purchase requisition is created, we enter a sub-process of information gathering, where the reseller must select his need. Once the requirement has been selected and identified, the requisition must go through a manager validation stage. This validation stage leads to two possible situations. Either the request is accepted by the manager, in which case we go on to validation, or the request is not accepted and we request not the end of the process, but an escalation event which will enable him to return to the description of the need. In other words, in this scenario, I don't use my modeling to allow the request to be terminated by the manager's refusal, but I do ask the operator to reselect his need and go back through a validation stage. Once the cancellation has been validated by the manager, we go on to a business rule for assigning the manager. This assignment depends on several parameters, such as the nature of the need. The manager will have to classify, categorize, and analyze the request. We haven't gone into the details of the different stages here, but have just summarized the set of operations by structuring the data. The structuring of the data may, in certain circumstances, lead to a request for expertise. The expertise request is triggered by an escalation event, which in turn triggers the assignment of an expert, always in accordance with the business rule and, of course, the expertise sub-process. The expertise sub-process gives us two possibilities. The first is the validation of the expert, while the second is an error which will enable us to start the purchase request with the reseller once again and re-enter the cycle. If all the indicators are good, then we end our process and the requisition is validated. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in our next video. Want to know more about the BPMN standard? Make sure to register to our free BPMN mailing training through the link in the description.